Good evening and thank you for joining us. We're going to begin with breaking news tonight. The CDC says the spread of coronavirus is now so out of control, Americans should cancel their Thanksgiving plans and not travel at all for the holiday. In a blunt and ominous warning, the government's top health protection agency now says ignoring those warnings and holding gatherings could lead directly to family members dying from COVID-19. California's governor says things are so dire there. Starting Saturday, he's issuing a mandatory order requiring nearly everyone in his state to stay in their homes overnight. At the same time, as we come on the air tonight, there is breaking news from the White House Coronavirus Task Force, and it is very hopeful. Moments ago, Vice President Pence told reporters that the drug company Pfizer will apply for emergency authorization for its vaccine tomorrow morning. And the Army general in charge of distributing that vaccine said as soon as it's approved, Millions of doses will ship out across the country within 24 hours. Well, tonight, the nation's top infectious disease expert, Dr. Anthony Fauci, is calling on Americans to stay vigilant until uh, the shots there, are widely there. available. Yeah. So there's a lot of dramatic new headlines you and your family will want to hear tonight. And our team of correspondents is standing by to cover them all. CBS's Chris Van Cleve is going to lead off our coverage tonight from Dulles International Airport in Virginia. Good evening, Chris. Nora, that urgent warning not to travel comes as as many as 50 million Americans are preparing to do just that, travel for Thanksgiving. The CDC is urging anybody who hasn't been home for 14 days, including college students coming from campus, not to participate in Thanksgiving plans unless they have already quarantined. And this is really a call to action for every American to increase their vigilance. Late today, the White House Coronavirus Task Force held their first briefing since July, announcing vaccines are ready to ship. EUA comes. 24 hours later, vaccines will be distributed out to the American people and be ready for administration. Pfizer could seek that emergency approval from the FDA for its coronavirus vaccine as soon as tomorrow. Moderna may not be far behind. And today, Oxford AstraZeneca researchers announced their vaccine appears to be effective in older adults, making it the third to show promise. The process of the speed did not compromise at all safety nor did it compromise scientific integrity. It was a reflection of the extraordinary scientific advances. That as New York City shut the doors of the nation's largest school system, closed for the first full day in months. We will bring our schools back, but we're gonna to have to reset the equation. We have been safe. We got to fight back this second wave. In California, health officials say they are facing the most dire moment since the pandemic began, ordering most non-essential work, movement, and gatherings to stop between 10 p.m. and 5 a.m. starting Saturday. In Washington, D.C., all Smithsonian museums will be shuttered beginning Monday. And across the country, cases continue to rise in 49 states. We're engaged in a war against this infectious disease. The Reese family decided to fly to Dallas despite the calls not to travel. Well, we had plans and uh, we feel that we can take precautions and go see family and I, we understand what CDC is. There's always risk and we just mitigate our risks as best we can. Just this morning, Southwest Airlines told us while they are seeing an increase in cancellations, so far that's been outpaced by the number of new bookings. That could be a sign that many Americans plan to go ahead and travel for Thanksgiving anyway. Nora. Chris Van Cleve, thank you.